Sanya, a 13-year-old curious city girl studying in class 8. Kabir, Sanya's 14-year-old brother who helps her contemplate things and perform various activities. Mummy, Sanya's mother who facilitates them in understanding different concepts. Mummy, we should go to our grandparents' home. Sanya, I understand you miss going to your grandparents' place. But both of them are travelling to Rishikesh with your uncle for a month and that is why the house is empty. Mummy, the reason why we should go there is that we can clean it so that they can live easily when they come. But it is summer holidays and I want to play in the orchard. Yes, Mummy, Kabir is right. I miss the beautiful orchards. The cool river stream flowing by the house and the little birds that perch in the garden. I miss it all. Okay, okay. We can go but on one condition. Both of you would have to take the responsibility of cleaning the house. Do you agree? Yes, yes Mummy, we will. Okay then. Let us get ready for the journey. Since we have started very late, we will reach the village by evening. Yes, we have finally reached the place. This house is really dusty and unclean. We need to start cleaning it soon. That would be great. Meanwhile, I'll get some drinking water from the hand bump. I'm really hungry. Can we quickly cook something? We can, but the mud oven that grandma had is broken and we don't have the time to make a mud oven right now. Then what shall we do? Mummy, how can we cook without an oven? I know the answer. But since coming here was your idea, I want both of you to think hard and see if you can find a solution. I know, we can make our own temporary chulha. But how? I will make a circular wall of rocks to serve as the structure of the oven. Sanya, can you recall the structure of the mud oven? How was it made? I know, semicircular. Do you know why is it made semicircular? I remember it now. Because for anything to burn at a continuous speed, it needs a steady supply of air. That is why a mud oven is made in a semicircular structure. Friends, what do we call the process of burning a fuel with the support of air? Correct! Combustion! Now we need some fuel. Yes, Kabir. Could you collect some twigs and some small branches from the orchard? We could light them and make the chulha. But will the twigs light with the matchstick? Doesn't it have a high ignition temperature? That is a good question. What can we use to lighten them? Friends, can you help us name some fuels that have low ignition temperature than wood? Meaning, they catch fire faster than wood. Did you say kerosene? But we don't have that. Dried cow dung is useful too. We don't have that too. 
dried leaves yes we could collect dried leaves and use them to fire the twigs and branches good idea sanya dried leaves catch fire much more easily than twigs i will collect them too wait don't go as yet remember when grandma used to cook on the oven it would give out smoke friends as we know wood creates smoke when going through combustion process can you tell what effects do the following fuels have on combustion yes i remember the smoke would make her cough and her eyes watery what can we do to avoid that mummy now you have to help us we have solved most of the puzzle we can't understand how to avoid the smoke while cooking please help us okay i will help you kabir remember during our travel to the village you were quite surprised to see something i do remember mummy the tall chimneys these chimneys were letting out poisonous smoke from the factories into the sky exactly we can make our own chimney like we made our own oven all we need is a round pipe like hollow thing it should be made of iron so that it doesn't catch fire friends you got it right since iron has a high ignition temperature that is why we can safely use it in the chulha without causing any harm great idea please have a look we have successfully made a temporary oven the semi circle wall made of rocks makes the structure of the oven the twigs and branches acts as fuel the dry leaves which easily burn due to low ignition temperature act as fuel to burn the wood then we have added an old iron pipe on one side to act as a chimney that will allow the smoke to go away isn't this great i am very proud of you both you have done an excellent job looks like you both are learning a lot in your science class now let's prepare some delicious khichdi and we will all enjoy a good dinner we learned in this lesson the process of burning fuel to produce heat or light is called combustion we use a variety of fuels like kerosene wood coal lpg in our everyday lives each of these fuels has a different ignition temperature low ignition temperature means that they heat very quickly like lpg high ignition temperature means they take more heat or help of other fuels to heat like wood here we used dry leaves to help the wood burn faster the combustion process of fuels can cause them to let out smoke light smell and sound as a residue some of these can be bad for our health to save ourselves from the harmful gases we can make outlets for the gases to be released in this scenario we made a chimney to save ourselves from the smoke